Micah Sher, good evening. This victim told me she stopped at the Starbucks location right behind me and used a single occupancy restroom. Now, you would think in that small space that she would have noticed something like this right away, but she tells me she wouldn't have seen it if it weren't for her five year old son. It's such a violation of privacy, not only of mine. My son. What was the intention? Where was it going to go? The victim who asked not to be identified tells me she's horrified after a shocking discovery inside the ladies' restroom at a Lancaster Starbucks near Avenue K and 10th Street West. It was roughly 10:30 a.m. She was with her five-year-old. My son used the restroom first, and I used the restroom after him. And I noticed that he was staring at the sink, a little bit perplexed. And I asked him what was wrong, and he said, "Mommy, why is there a phone under there?" And my skin kind of began to crawl. She looked underneath. There was uh, a cell phone with the camera lens faced towards the toilet, and it was propped up by some brown paper towels. It had taken some work to, to get it to stand the way that it was standing, so I could tell that it had been placed there purposely. She didn't touch the phone. She notified employees before leaving, and they called authorities. Upon their arrival, the deputies discovered that it, the cell phone was running in a video recorded motion. They took custody of that cell phone. Sheriff's deputies have not released any details about who may have placed the phone there. The incident is under investigation. They were able to get some type of surveillance video from the location. However, I don't know what the contents of that video are at this time. It's also not clear how long the phone may have been secretly recording these private images. I wouldn't have seen it if it was not at my son's eye level. The thought of how many people were in there before me, myself, my son, it's just it's an extreme violation and it makes me feel like we're not really safe anywhere. Now, the victim tells me that Starbucks employees took it very seriously and contacted authorities right away. We tried to speak with a supervisor inside, but she referred me to media relations and we couldn't reach anyone before airtime. Live in Lancaster, Kimberly Chang, KTLA 5 News.